everyone. Welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benna Hughes, and today I have someone premiering with me, Alex Paradise. We're so excited to have Alex here. He is our new lean expert here and also Taproot instructor, and he comes with uh, many years of uh, background in lean and things like that. And we're going to talk today about how lean and uh, like maybe what's missing in it and things like that. So, but first, welcome. Thank you. Are you excited to be here? Excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we, I want you to do is tell me a little bit first what lean is. So to give a little foundational background to lean, um, lean is an operational system and it's really a management philosophy that focuses on two things. Mm -hmm. One, meeting customer demand and the other, continuous improvement and elimination of waste. So it's really got two pillars in there and it's focused on driving organizations and, and guiding organizations in their improvement process and focusing them towards uh, profitable growth. Sounds like very important business rules. Ideologically, <laughs> it's very it's very important and critical for businesses. So you've used this in places you've worked before and stuff. And so, in general, what is the success rate for companies to use something so like this? So there, there's a, a famous graph out there that that looks at you know how organizations improve with lean and what happens after a number of years. And when you look at those organizations. Um, around 85% of them stagnate after a short period of time where they completely fall off the board. That's a lot. Yeah, so out, out of those, only about 5% find continuous, continuous improvement. And, and when you look at the experts and what people say of why organizations fail to continually improve year over year, most of them are always talking about management systems and the failure of management to commit to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what we see is not just that management fails to commit. Management can be very committed, but you're still going to stagnate because the tools that, you, that Lean uses and employs mm -hmm. and some of the foundational philosophy is about empowering people and getting their experience. But you end up hitting kind of a slump after a while because people only have so many years of experience. People only have so much knowledge. So some of the tools they use to work with Lean that are very common. Um, the, the most common that everybody in, in root cause analysis would know is five whys. Yeah. Uh, we also have fishbone diagrams. There's some um, process steps like a 8D or eight step problem solving process. Um, people in the Six Sigma world have, they have different, there are different names mm -hmm. for it, but the foundations on all of them is the scientific approach and cause and effect. Yes. And so one of the things about this, it sounds like you probably need to know a little bit about what you're talking about and have a vast knowledge. Yeah, so experience is key with this and with any kind of cause and effect analysis, it's really important that you know what connects the cause and effect mm -hmm. and you have a detailed knowledge of the process and an understanding. So a lot of lean tools are about making those problems obvious and they assume that if you make a problem um, visible and self-evident mm -hmm. that your people will have the knowledge to solve them. Right. And they're kind of, a lot of times, have a little tunnel vision, don't they? And look, kind of based on what they already know, um, what their expertise is, and things like that. Yeah, so example, you know, if you've got a, a manufacturing supervisor, or you've got a training coordinator, or maybe you've got somebody that's got experience in, in engineering systems, they're all going to have that focus. And, and Lean tries to supplement this by building cross-functional teams and stuff. But what you find is you really you run into a wall, especially now that you've got a lot of uh, baby boomers and, and a lot of people retiring. Those 50-year guys, 40-year guys yeah. are gone. And because of that, you're losing a lot of experience for your root cause analysis teams. They've seen a lot. And they, mm -hmm. and they probably learned a lot by trial and error. And so one of the things I know you're talking about with the root cause analysis side of it is being able to um, embed some of that expertise in there. And so tell us how Taproot can help and fill that void. So uh, the main thing with this that we want to do is we want to make sure that we're utilizing, you know, the lean principles of breaking down the problem, understanding what the root cause is, coming up with corrective actions and implementing those. Mm -hmm. And that's the basic PDCA process. Right. Taproot can fit right into that process. So when you look at when we're breaking down the problem, um, understanding what happened mm -hmm. before you start saying why it happened, that's critical. And with Taproot using the snap chart to gather information and display it, 
then, then once you understand the mistakes and errors, you can then take those through the tree. And that's where that expert system comes into play that you don't have in some of those five whys and other cause effect tools, is you don't have an expert system that's guiding you through a process. So we've got that series of questions and a series of categories and taproot that help guide you into root causes. And so that can really up your investigator's level of knowledge and what mm -hmm. they can look at. Well, because they're getting human performance expertise built into the system. They don't have to be that expert, but they have the right questions to ask to get to the right answers. Exactly. And that's one of the things that you miss a lot in those investigations, especially when you're just gathering information every day, is you don't know what questions to ask. They give you one question, which is why, mm -hmm. which is a good foundational start, but knowing how to ask questions looking at procedures, knowing how to ask questions about communication and management systems, those are all key into digging deeper into a problem. So not just giving a, a structured approach like a, like a fishbone where you've got, okay, I'll ask a question about this and a question about that and a question, but giving a, 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 a guided system that, that puts you toward uh, not just one root cause, but mm -hmm. multiple root causes. Well, I can see how then that can help where you were talking about they stagnate mm -hmm. and go ahead and, and maybe up their success rate. Yeah, because a lot of companies, you know, they, they reach kind of a plateau because they've, they've got all the low-hanging fruit. They've done their 5S. They've done their gimbal walks and put in place their standardized work and zone control. And that's got them to, you know, a good improvement. Mm -hmm but then they can't get to that next level because they've gotten all the stuff that they knew already to do but just needed the will to do it. They've got that right. taken care of, and now they're, they're searching for what to get them to the next level. And one of the core principles with Lean is that you want to um, invest in your leaders and invest mm -hmm. in your people, and that's why it's critical to invest in a system that supports that but also gives them that information that they're missing to get to that next level and, and continue that continuous improvement. That's a great way to put it. I really, I mean, because it's not that the, the management and the leaders aren't trying to support them, and it's not that the people who are, who are working on it aren't trying. It's that that little missing link in there that gives them that additional expertise and helps helps uh, send them up yeah. to a higher success and rate. Investing in people is so critical yes. with Lean and so critical in, in an organizational continuing to grow. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's, that's why we, we want to push people and say, you know, we need to get somebody to a course. We need to get yes. somebody trained. Oh, absolutely. Because then one of the things that will go away is some frustration. Um, things will start to perform better. And that continuous improvement, uh, that's, that's what you want to do with it. Yeah, and you really want to look out for, for management fatigue with this. They talk about, well, management's not committed to it. Mm -hmm. But if you look as a manager, it, you know, Lean is very much about promoting the ideal mm -hmm. and promoting the ideal process and making sure people are process-driven. So if you're focusing so heavily on the ideal, on the ideal, that gets management fatigue after a couple sure. of years. You get tired of pushing and pushing and pushing. So giving people and supporting people with, with a tool that gives them that expertise, yes. it allows them to push for the ideals that much easier and not a manager you're not dependent on one manager's expertise. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then the, the people feel like they're empowered mm -hmm. um, to make change and that's a really great thing in a company, mm -hmm. I think. It's so. it's very critical. Well, that's wonderful and we can really help people do this. We can if you've got a doing lean systems in your company, um, we can help them go ahead and get up to that 85%. <laughs> get above the 85, get you into that 95%. Exactly. The, That's the guys that are still continuing to improve. How great would that be? Yeah. And so we can help you do that. And so what he was talking about with Taproot is we can help you get your team trained. Um, an easy thing to do is if you're not familiar is you can send somebody to one of our public courses. It's one of the quickest ways to be able to get an idea of what Taproot's all about and how it can help you. But we do on-site courses. Um, you're going out, you're training in public mm -hmm. courses and mm -hmm going around the country these days. And yeah, and the, the fastest way to, to get information on it is to message us. You yep. know, go info Absolutely. at Taproot, go to, go to our website and find a course and gather information. Mm -hmm. You know, we respond pretty quickly. So We do. It's, it's really about getting people and getting them trained, and that's the critical thing. Well, Alex, thank you so much. This was very informative. I love how it, at Taproot really fits into it to help people continue to improve their their programs because that's what we're all about here we want to help make you successful so if, like you said if you want more information contact us at info at taproot.com go to our website um, taproot.com and we have a list of our courses going on around the world all year long um, if you have 10 or more people we can come to your site we'd love to do that because we'd love to just really focus in on you and your company 
So thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Um, please follow us on all of our social media platforms. Be sure and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when we're coming out with videos. And we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you back here next week. Bye. Bye-bye.